Marquette, thank you for joining the show. How are you doing today? What's going on? The king is here. <laughs> the king is here. And you know what? I want to get right into it because you're going into your sixth season. Expectations for the Raiders very high. 12-4 and four last year. What is it like in the locker room now? Uh, it's the same. I mean, we don't really get caught up in the hype at all. We okay. just focus on what we got to do and take mm -hmm. it one game at a time, one practice at a time. Yeah, you know, keeping track on your uh, Twitter feed, Marquette, you've yep. uh, certainly talked about uh, getting ready for the season. Also talked about the beast mode, Ooh. Marshawn Lynch joining the uh, hometown Oakland Raiders. Can you give us just a little bit of insight into how enthusiastic you and your teammates are about having that face around the facility? Oh, yeah. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> <laughs> <But, laughs> no, nah, it's cool to have him in there. Um, he's a real good teammate. Mm -hmm. uh, always checking on everybody. It's like a family, so... I mean, it's, it's a blessing to have him on the team. So, man, we, we're excited for next week. Is he sharing his Skittles? That's what I'd really like yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Uh, he don't share his Skittles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Case the rainbow. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Hey, I, I want to get a little insight from you uh, about the new celebration rules because a little birdie told me that you might have something planned mm. for week 13 when you guys play the Giants with Odell Beckham Jr. Can you shed a little insight <laughs> into that? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Hey, who, who over there snitching? I, 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 snitching look, I, it's just I, I heard some people talk. A birdie. A birdie told that. Bill, man. <laughs> what a birdie. I need to set up the trap. Um... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be an exciting year. Okay, that's a tease. That's a tease. I like that. But I'm going to be tuning in regardless. Uh, you know, speaking of a tease, uh, you are very active on Twitter. That is for sure. Now that Game of Thrones, which you've tweeted out a bunch, is no longer, what's the next binge thing that Marquette King wants to get into? Like, what's the next show other than football that you want to, you know, you want to binge watch? I don't know. That's hard hmm. because Game of Thrones was so fire, especially the season finale. <laughs> Whoever didn't watch the season finale, do not. Turn your, turn your TV real quick. The season finale was so crazy. And uh, I think I, we were having a debate. Me and some of my friends were debating, um, was the dragon going to shoot fire or was it going to shoot ice? Because if he shot fire, that was just it. But he just started shooting ice and started tearing up everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we, we saw that crazy finale. So, you know, as big of a fan of the show right. as you are, if you could have like a cameo on Game of Thrones, like we saw Ed Sheeran this past year, what would you pick for yourself? Yeah. Hold on, repeat it again. If you could have a cameo, cameo. on Game of Thrones, I mean, would you be in like the Lannister army? Would you be up north? Mm. Uh, what, what would you do? Would you want to be a, a, a walker, maybe king of the north? Um, it's hard because, I mean, I want to be a king because obviously I'm a king, but, uh, <laughs> I like the White Walkers too. The White Walkers are different and it's, they're almost hard to beat unless you got dragon glass. I don't know where I'm going to find some dragon glass from, so I'd probably We're going to, I feel like we're going to get, uh, trending Marquette King on Game of Thrones. You Let's just make wait. Happen. Let's make it happen. Uh, in the meantime, though, we do have some pretty awesome fan questions for you. Are you ready to, to answer what the fans are, are wanting you to say? Mr. Wonderful saying, uh, your team down six, okay? You've got a punt. On the other side, though, Devin Hester, do you kick away from him or do you show no fear? Hmm. Hmm. Me, personally, I don't like to show fear, so I want to go straight at his head, but uh, if I had to follow directions, we would probably kick away. You got to do what's right for the team. <laughs> yeah, he just right? said he wants to be a white walker. To. Of course he, he doesn't show to. any fear. Uh, <laughs> hey, another one for you coming to us via Twitter, uh, Marquette. How does someone decide to be a punter? Was it your childhood dream? JR wants to know. <laughs> it was not my childhood dream to be a punter. I just wanted to be an athlete, which I was and still am, but uh, it's just something that happened. Something that happened. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, one more fan question for you. This one's from Jacob saying, how do you get ideas for your new dances? I respect the attitude, of course, that you bring to the field. So where do you get your ideas from? Uh, they're pretty much spontaneous. Uh, I, don't, I put maybe a, a tad bit of thought into it just because you got to start from somewhere. But other than that, like, I just kind of let go because the field is, like, my happy place. And uh, mm. I just kind of let out however I feel while I'm playing, especially when I start making plays. It feels good. And um, that's that's it. Well, you're not that's only talented, from. but you're, like, the most fun punter to watch. That's for sure. Um, okay. We do have the pleasure, I think, of being inside your home. Right, Marquette? 
Yep. Uh oh. Can you? Crib. Do you think you could show us around your digs? Like, uh, what's that photo yeah. behind you right now? So right here, this is the okay. photo that uh, the Raiders took when we played the Dallas Cowboys preseason 2012. It was the first preseason game ever, and um, that was obviously the game that my coach told me not to look in the stands, and I looked in the stands anyway, and. <laughs> That didn't work so good. It was a good punt still, but I got real nervous so fast. Um, what else we got? I mean, you got the kitchen, the piano, uh, the TV, the Power Ranger helmet down there. Yeah. Yeah, how's that piano been for you lately? You taught yourself how to play, right? Oh, yeah. You too. Oh, you too. I, um, I started two years ago. Got bored. You know, we got a lot of free time in the offseason. And uh, got bored, got a piano, started practicing, got better and better. Mm. Well, I haven't no had a more chance free to play time. You've been in training camp. Yeah, right. Okay, of course. Training camp. No more free time for you, Marquette. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's always so fun to watch you on the field. And we're definitely going to tune in for that Giants game because I want to see what dance moves he's I got. I do too. And I, maybe we'll get you out another time and have you play some piano for us, Marquette. Thank you for hanging out with us, man. All right. Thank you all. Have fun. <laughs> 